for all you people that want to know the true way of making this exact bracelet on one loom, great news. I figured it out. And yes, there's another video going around saying that you can make a sailor's pinstripe on one loom, but no, it is not the same sailor's pinstripe. It is only three rows and it's a cat band, so it really doesn't look the same. All right, so what you want to do is you want to set your loom up like so. It's going to be aligned, but there is going to be a gap. So if you look at the back, you have a large base over here, and then you have a small base on the other end, creating this gap. And what you are going to do is you're going to use these eight pegs or any eight pegs in between and those are going to be the only pegs that are used for this bracelet so the first thing you have to recognize is there are four independent bracelets each one of these bracelets that are in this bracelet are one two three four so this bracelet right here which is white I'm going to use these two pegs for that white one, these two pegs for the rainbow, these two pegs for the other rainbow, and these two pegs for the left white. And then there's the pinstripe color, so I advise you to pick your colors in advance. In my case, I am going to just do black outsides, a white pinstripe, and then a rainbow two center rows. So first thing you want to do is take two rubber bands, turn them into an eight, get one peg in the middle, then get one peg right here. So if you look closer, just like that. That's two rubber bands made into an eight. And then I'm going to grab another two rubber bands and again create an eight on that other border just like so one side is there another side is there therefore I created the eight next I'm gonna pick my first color mine's gonna be a red and then also another eight created right here another eight created right there and again in the two pegs next to it and create an eight okay once you do that push down so you can make space for the next band and then after that you're taking your pinstripe color and you're just putting it over those four pegs just like so right next I'm gonna take my border colors two blacks and this time I'm just gonna put them straight on top no eights all right, do that with the other side, just two blacks, no eights. And then my next color in the rainbow, two oranges, just straight on top. And then another two oranges, straight on top. Okay, now I have to loom. So what I am going to do is... I'm going in from here, as you can see there's a groove, so go into that groove, grab one of the blacks, well both ends of that black and bring it up. All right, I'm going to do it from this angle, you see there's two rubber bands on top, there's this white rubber band and then two black rubber bands on the bottom. I'm grabbing both of those blacks and I'm bringing it up. All right. Now over here I'm grabbing both of those reds bringing it up, grabbing both of those reds, bringing it up, both of these reds, bringing it up, both of these reds, bringing it up, and this one, these two blacks, I'm actually going to turn it around and go in from this side. So I'm grabbing these two blacks on the bottom, bringing it up, and then I'm going to grab these two blacks on this side and I'm bringing it up. Alright, 
then push down so you can make space for the next rubber band and once you do that you're grabbing another pinstripe color okay and you are applying it straight across these four bands just like you did before and then you're gonna apply two border colors mine are gonna be black okay so on that side and two blacks on this side okay then in the middle I'm gonna do the next colors of my rainbow so two neon oranges then two neon oranges and again just like I did before I'm going in starting from this side I am going to grab these two blacks underneath pull it around a corner back to the center these two blacks pull it around over these two oranges I'm going to grab just those two oranges pull it up and over these two oranges up and over these two oranges up and over these two oranges up and over and then again turn it around get both sides of that those two bottom blacks all right get around that corner up and over okay now again I'm pushing down so I could make space for my next rubber band set and again another pinstripe put it over all four pegs two border colors so two blacks put it on one side and grab another two blacks put it on the opposite side okay and then two yellows which would continue my rainbow in the center okay so again I'm going in I'm grabbing those two bottom blacks bring it up and over those two bottom neon oranges up over bottom neon oranges up and over and then on this side these two blacks I'm going to up and these two blacks bring it up okay so push down again all right so if you really thought about it you would realize okay what's happening right here eventually it's going to get completely congested and you're going to realize it can't go down any further because these white rubber bands are preventing this from going down so I work in sets of threes at this point I have three of these pinstripes on the side so what I have to do is I actually have to go in and grab these two blacks right here pull it hold it with my hand and then pull these pinstripes in and then take these two blacks and put them back on okay then bring these back out hold these two yellows then put these pinstripes on the inside of that peg then put these back on then again grab these two yellows pull it up hold it with your other hand put the pinstripes down then put this back up then these two blacks pull it up and put these pinstripes in the inside okay and then put these two blacks back on all right and that's gonna make it so that you can keep on going so now you're just doing the same thing again grabbing your pinstripe color putting it here Okay, 
two of the border colors on one side, two of the border colors on another side. Okay, continue the rainbow colors, so two neon greens, two neon greens, and again. Grab two of the blacks, bring it up. Two of the blacks, bring it up. And I grab more than one. Yes, I did. So, gotta put that one back on. All right. The two yellows, bring it up. Two yellows, bring it up. Two yellows, bring it up. Yellows. Turn it around. Grab those two blacks. Grab those two blacks from inside. Okay? Make sure you're on the inside here. You're not pulling it out from over here because that's going to make it look wrong. Alright. Again, push down. Another white pinstripe. Going over here, two blacks, and another two blacks on the other side, then lime greens, two lime greens. And again, grab those bottom two blacks, bring it up, bottom two blacks, bring it up, bottom two neon greens, bring it up, bottom two neon greens, neon greens, neon greens, turn it around, grab those two blacks. And grab those two blacks. Okay. Push down again. Another pinch stripe. Okay. Two blacks. Two blacks. color is going to be teal, two in the center, and two in the center, okay, again, bottom two blacks, bottom two blacks, bottom one greens, one greens, Green, lime greens, and these two blacks, and then these two blacks. Okay, push down. Again, like I said, I work in threes, so now there's three pinstripes. Grab these two blacks my other hand hold it and bring these print stripes up okay then put these back on bring these back under and grab these two teals hold it with your other hand and bring these pin stripes in and put these back on Again, bring these pin stripes down grab this with your other hand Bring this back up, back down, okay, last one, grab these two blacks, hold it up, bring these pinstripes up, and then put these black back on. And as you can see, you'll see it starting to form inside, 
pinstripes are going to be on the outside so that this side right here that's closer to me is going to be this side and this side forming on top is going to be this side okay so I'm just going to continue next pinstripe over those four two black two blacks two ocean blues two ocean blues okay grab those two blacks on the bottom bring it up and over two blacks two teals two teals Two teals. We want to make sure these are ordered right. As you can see, that ocean blue came down. You want to make sure you're always grabbing the two that are on the bottom. Okay. And again, these two blacks. So that side. On that side. Okay. Next color. Is going to be black. Two black. And two purples, and two purples. Okay, grab those two on the bottom, bring it up and over, up and over. Back to red. All right, so at this point, again, I have three pinstripes, so I'm going to grab these two blacks, pull these over so they're behind the peg, and put these two blacks back on, okay, pull these down, pull these two reds, and pull these back up, bring this back down, okay, bring this back down, up. Bring this inside that peg and back. And then these last two 
blacks, grab both ends, hold it, pull these pinstripes in behind that peg. Okay, and put this black back on. And then you'll see, you can pull this, and there you go. That's the sailor's pinstripe forming from the inside. And you just keep on going. So, pinstripe, two blacks, two blacks. Next color in the sequence, two oranges, two oranges, okay, grab those two blacks, two blacks, two reds, two reds, reds. down this color two blacks two blacks two neons
All right. Well, I'm not going to make it any longer. This is actually for a little kid. So, what you can do now, in order to clip this, the easiest way to do this is to take both ends on this side and bring it back up and over this peg. Okay? So, I'm going to zoom in on the next set. All right, so grab these two reds, bring it up and over, okay? Grab these two ends, bring it up and over. Okay, and these last two blacks, bring it up. Oh, I lost it. How to save it. Bring it up. And over. Okay. Now grab four C clips. And the easiest thing to do is to get into this groove right here. Hold this clip as close to the edge of your finger as possible. And then just get into this groove and then pull up. Okay. Only got two ones, but I caught the other two ones with my finger. So maybe I can figure out a better way. Instead of going up, let's try going down. So I'm going to release this. Okay. So hold this as close to the edge as possible. This time the groove is down. Go about halfway in and just push down. Okay. And that might make it so that it's impossible for you to lose. Just double check and make sure you have all four ends, and if you do, then you can move on to the next one. Again, I'm going to pull down on this just so these rubber bands kind of tighten out, and that way it'd be easier to slip on. All right, hold on to the clip as close to the edge as possible, get in that groove and just push down on it. Okay, as you can see, I got all four ends, then I can let go. Again, as close to the edge as possible. Pull down on this so the bands kind of thin out. Halfway in. And there you go. I got all four ends. As you can see. So I could let go. Alright, last one. Let's hold this as close to the edge as possible. Pull it down. And just go down. Alright, so at that point you can just pull these clips off. Alright, just like that. Since they have all four ends. And 
and pull it out and then now you want to clip this clip onto this two of these X's like two ends of this black alright so go and then grab the other two ends of those same black bands which are going to be right here and get those as well so in total you are going to have four bands four ends on each side All right then you're going to want to do the same with these reds grab these first two easy ends that are seem kind of loose then go in there and grab the other two ends which are right here get about halfway in so that it's kind of in that groove and then just pull pull the other side of the bands okay and again on your next set grab the clip you want to get all four of these ends right here so I'm going to start with these two that seem the loosest clip those and then get these other two ends alright and then the last one grab this clip and then these are the four ends you want to grab grab these two first get those and then grab the other two and there you go that is the sailor's pinstripe on just one loom you can see you can flatten out or straighten out any of the pinstripes if it looks like it's not straight.